Hi, uh, this is Audrey Ocean. I've never made a video blog before, but I posted like random videos about things. Um, but there is a subject that I feel compelled to talk about. And that is the subject of sex. And specifically, uh, the fact that when girls start having sex, they start being called sluts. Or to use um, more recent terminology, ratchet. Like, still don't know what the fuck that, where that word came from, or why that's even a word because it sounds like racket, like tennis racket, and it's just, it's very strange to me. But anyway, so there's that, and then there's like the other words like whore and shank and please and hoe, and the list just goes on and on and on and on. And so, I started thinking about what a definition for these words would be. And, well, for one, you presumably have to be female. Um, you can't be a virgin, so you have to be, like, sexually active. And depending on the age, around, like, four or five guys um, that a girl slept with, she'll start being targeted for these derogatory terms. And when you look at it that way, it still just sounds like, these are all negative things, um, but in reality, all these words are actually describing is a sexually liberated woman, and that isn't a bad thing. So I started thinking about where did this whole trade of women not being allowed to sexually express themselves come from? Like, why did that become a bad thing in the eyes of society? And I started thinking about elementary school. Um, it was like when we first started realizing that there's more between boys and girls than just holding hands. Um, like we didn't really know what what it was, but we could like make inappropriate jokes about it and laugh about it, but like not fully understand. And um, and seeing this, adults and parents started um, slowly introducing us to it by saying these words. They started repeating these words over and over again. Wait until you're married. And we heard that be started becoming like the base of our first subconscious view of sexuality. Um, we heard it from everything, even in churches, they were preaching that to adults. So it was like, okay, obviously this is a real thing. And even though at the time it didn't really register, um, that carried on with us. And as we became preteens, it became repeated to us again through sex ed. Instead of wait until you're married, um, be abstinent. And on an emotional level, this actually makes sense because when you have sex with someone, um, there are uh, chemical reactions that happen that make you more attached to that person. Um, but aside from this, they failed to tell us some very important things, like how in just a couple of years we're going to become teenagers, which means we're about to become batshit crazy, hormonal, horny ass teenagers. That's what we're about to come to become. And instead of really describing things like this to us, like instead of talking about vaginas and boners and orgasms, um, they were more so just like afraid to even talk about sex. Talk about sex. Um, so as our bodies started changing, uh, there was like this awkwardness to it. And instead of it being a time um, where girls were being like celebrated for becoming women, for entering womanhood, uh, there was this 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 view from males in society, um, like they were condemning us for it instead of celebrating it. And um, Beyond that, as as our body started changing, there was like this new peer pressure, like how far are are people gonna go? And people started doing sexual things, and boys were more attracted to the sexually mature girls. But all at the same time, um, it was like we have to stay we have to stay virgins, like otherwise no one's gonna want to marry us, and we'll be sinning, and it's against the rules, like. Even if we weren't actually thinking this, like subconsciously, I feel like it still was influencing us. Um, men were wrongly given like this place of power um, over us, like where they would be able to do things with girls, but then still be like, oh, well, I want 
to marry a virgin. Um, the thing is, if guys can't be sluts, then neither can girls, because that double standard just doesn't make any fucking sense. Um, therefore, nobody sluts. There is no such thing as slut. Um, slut. The word slut isn't a real thing. If guys can't be slut, if it's just directed towards females. Um, also makes me think about why isn't there a word for a male slut? Like, we just invented the word ratchet. Like, I don't know where, it, like I said, I don't know where it came from, but that word just popped up. So why isn't there a single word directed towards males and them being sexually active in a derogatory, in a derogatory way? It's like, there's one word, like man whore, except for that still has the word whore in it, which is still directed towards female. There's not a single word that just is saying slut, but in a masculine form, which doesn't make any sense. But basically, they were wrongly given that place of power uh, over us because in all reality, we women are in control. Um, we have vaginas and that actually means a lot. Like that has a lot of influential power right there. Guys, even though a lot of them won't admit to it, they will literally sleep with like pretty much anyone or anything. Like some of them pretend to have standards, when, but when it comes down to it, like sex is sex to them and sex is just sex. But the thing is, girls are picky and that is a big place where we also have a lot of control. We don't, in reality, we don't need to dress or act a certain way to attract men. Uh, the fact that we have vaginas kind of does that for us. <laughs> and so, um, as you all probably know, like, we women dress to impress other women. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, but in all reality, we should only be dressing to feel confident and good about ourselves. And that's where, like, the whole, um, like, provocative dressing slutty thing also comes in like if that is the way you feel confident and that's dressing provocative if that's how you feel good about yourself then do it like good dress in what makes you feel comfortable what makes you feel attractive um and in all honesty it's because confidence is the most attractive thing about women and so dress what makes you feel good and the thing about those words where it's like like slut and whore and all those words, is they can also be used to define a style of clothing, uh, like dressing slutty, uh, dressing like a whore, uh, dressing skanky, dressing ratchety. <laughs> Just kidding, but um, that's not that's not accurate either because simply wearing tight clothing and kind of revealing that is just dressing confident if that's what makes you feel confident. But just know that you don't need to dress that way to attract guys. So do it for yourself if you want to dress that way. And don't stereotype people for dressing that way because that's fucking ridiculous. You don't just judge someone because of the way they're dressed. You read the book before you judge the cover. Or you don't even care about the cover. You just read the damn book. <laughs> like, honestly. <sighs> Anyways. Sex is sex. Um, when it comes down to it, that is what life is all about, is sex. It's sex, food, and sleep. Those three things, sex, food, and sleep. So don't judge people for living up the purpose of life because that is the purpose of life, that we're here as sexual beings. And women have the biggest role in that part. So I really don't see why people make such a damn big deal about sexually liberated women. And I'm not saying, like, go sleep around with everyone, like, that's, that's not what I'm trying to support. Like, even, oh, I don't not support it, but that's not what I'm trying to say. I'm not trying to, like, be like, oh, just go sleep around. I'm just saying it's not a bad thing if you choose to. Um, my one advice would be don't have sex when you're drunk because, in all honesty, you probably don't actually want to have sex with that person and you just drink till he's cute. So, yeah, I, I would just suggest um, not going that route, and plus, you're more likely to not have safe sex, and that's another huge topic, is have safe sex, wear a condom, use birth control, because 
STDs and babies, that shit's for life. Or babies aren't shit, but those things are for life. So be careful and people just stop being so judgmental. Just just be nice and realize that this is life and we should stop trying to bring everyone down for every little thing we can find and start uplifting people and understanding people and feeling good about ourselves, being confident and just overall caring about ourselves, loving ourselves and girls out there don't let guys bring you down if they call you a slut or a whore and know that it's not true and our society has just created this weird thing where sex isn't okay when it, in reality it is so <sighs> anyways everyone that was my rant for the day and hope you got something out of it or if not that's totally fine too but that's my view so take it or leave it guys have a good day